red stripe there. Okay, improve your mood and reduce the stress in your life by making some simple changes in your diet. Mary, it's joined by a local nutritionist who's come up with foods to fix any mood. This is Trudy Scott. She is an expert on food moods and how different things we eat affect how we feel. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. You've done a lot of research on this topic, and we're going to start with some moods uh, that we're all feeling uh, this time of year. We're going to start with stressed and overwhelmed. The holidays are upon us. How, if we're feeling that way, what are some things that we can do to avoid those failings? One of the most important things that I have all my clients do is eat breakfast. So to eat breakfast with an hour of waking and include some protein at breakfast. So eggs are a really great thing to have at breakfast. So you always eat breakfast and make sure you have eggs specifically. Now some people try to avoid them because of cholesterol, but is there really a link between cholesterol and eggs and not really, cholesterol? Not really. And if eggs are a really good source of protein and just really good to help balance your blood sugar, which keeps your mood stable throughout the day. All right, very good. Next is anxiety and worry. So the big thing with anxiety is caffeine. And there's a subset of people that have a problem with caffeine. So keep in mind, caffeine is in sodas, coffee, and drinking something like herbal tea is a really great option. Oh, that'll bring it, bring it down. That's excellent. Well, I should say don't bring it down, but you know, stabilize, you put it that way. Uh, number three, depression. A lot of people, especially around the holidays too, we feel a little bit blue, or maybe we really are having a, a severe mood swing. What's good for depression? Protein, again, is really good. So some grass-fed red meat is good. Mm -hmm. So you could do some jerky and sardines and salmon are really good. And keep in mind, if you eat grass-fed red meat, mm -hmm. you are getting the same amount of omega-3s as you would get from something like salmon. Okay, good. Here's a good one for moms, I know, too, is a little irritability. If we're feeling just irritable and like we could just snap at somebody, what's good for that mood? Avoiding sugar. Sugar actually depletes us of nutrients, things that help us keep a healthy mood and, and not be irritable. And if we're eating a lot of sugar, we're going to feel more irritable. And just for example, if you look at this, if you drink five sodas a week, you're yeah. going to be consuming that amount of sugar. This amount of sugar in five sodas a week. Yeah. Oh, man. Doesn't that, that just puts it all in perspective. And you should eat if, uh, things like fruits and vegetables. Now, there's fruit and sugar, certainly, but not nearly as much as you're going to get in this kind of and drink. And fruit, you're getting all the fiber and you're getting all the antioxidants and all the other great nutrients which are fabulous so always we want to be eating real whole foods you know foods the way nature intended okay if you have if you're having mood swings you know you're, you're happy you're sad you're kind of swinging back and forth what is good to do for mood swings so all of the things I've talked about help with all moods but certainly with mood swings something that can be a problem is gluten containing grains so wheat oats rye and barley can affect a subset of people and make mm. you more anxious more depressed and have mood swings so eating something like brown rice and uh, rice crackers and other grains that do not contain gluten, like no wheat, no cookies, no cakes and things with wheat, that can make a big difference. Okay, and you say overall, uh, to, to improve our general mood and our general health, we should avoid processed foods yes. and eat, try to get more back to nature. Yes, eating real whole real foods, food. not processed foods with labels that you can't understand and you don't know what they are and you can't pronounce them. Wonderful. You have a great report that is on your website that's all about all of this in a lot more detail. Yes. And uh, you can find that. We're going to link Trudy's website to ours, GoodDaySacramento.com. Our brand new website. Show information is right there at the top of the page. You can't miss it. Click on that. And then today's date, it'll give you the link to Trudy's website. You can find out more about how foods affect your moods and also read this report as well. Trudy, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Good information. Me. Guys, back to you. That's hey, if really you guys aren't going to use that sugar, can I have it? <laughs> <laughs> Five Just don't want it to go to waste. It's amazing. All right.